am extremely dehydrated this morning. So haunted hydration, that's gonna be my day all day. It's obviously my own doing. I went a little bit hard with the lattes yesterday. I was out of marshmallow creamer for a couple of weeks and then my store got it back in stock. Did I go through an entire bottle yesterday of nut pods? marshmallow creamer. I have some boxes to open up today. A couple of these are subscriptions. This one, which is the reason we are here today and not in the yarn dungeon, is a brand new palette. It's from Glamlight Cosmetics, which is a company that I've never tried before. When I saw this palette, I had immediate high expectations. And I hate doing that because like, it's a company I've never tried. I don't know anything about any of the stuff that they have, you know? So like having a high expectation for it is just kind of mean. However, let me show you the theme of this. It is Chucky, or more specifically, Chucky and Tiff. How could I not just be so freaking excited about this? I don't even remember what I ordered. I know that there were a lot of things sold out when I first got there. However, I did catch it on their launch day, which is Valentine's Day. Perfect for that. I was able to snag a couple of things. This is a Chuck Tiff lip kit. This packaging is everything. I'm never getting rid of this. Like this is ridiculous. And the back of it, I mean, come on. I don't even need to open it. Like really, just like this, perfect. Okay, decor, you know? Let's see what's inside though. Oh, that's fantastic. And the back, like all the little details of this, Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. You know that I'm excited about an entire collection when I get a lip that isn't liquid lip. I, whoa, I never use bullet lipstick, but I was like, let's do it. I'm here for it. <gasps> oh, and then on the side it has cute little bloody hearts. I'm just saying. It does come with a lip liner, which makes a world of difference when you use bullet lipstick just to line it, make sure everything stays in place as much as it can. I just can't get over all of the details in this. You and me, Chucky eyeliner. Oh, it's a felt tip, okay. A little bit longer, so I'm gonna guess you can sharpen this one. Yes, we have a pencil eyeliner. Personally, I use both of these, but I use them for different type of things that I create. However, I am enjoying the felt tip one a lot more lately. Lastly, we have the palette. This thing is amazing. Crazy in Love 15 Shades Palette Love, Honor, and Obey Good Guys Glam Light Chucky and Tiff. The thing that drew me into this one, apart from the fact that it's freaking Chucky themed, it was a very moody palette. So dark reds and purples, oh my gosh. Oh! <gasps> That is freaking awesome. I love this so much. Seriously, stop what you're doing and look at this right now. Again, all of the details that go into this, there's like, what? Good guys, bad gals, the dripping bloody hearts in there, Tiff and Chucky stamp, and then all of the names that go along with every single one of these colors. It's showtime. I like to be hugged. And that one has the Tiffany stamp on it. Your pal since 98, Chuck and Tiff forever. Ooh, I love that one. So play pals, Chuck and Tiff forever, free hugs. I think those are gonna be the ones I'm gonna use today. So this one, that one, and right down there. Who knows, I might use a couple more. This has only increased my excitement for this entire line. I haven't even used it yet, but seen it in person, yeah, this is freaking awesome. I do need to make some tea though. I know I'm drinking water, but I need something warm. I was sent a package by an incredible ghoul, Nicole, full of just a ton of amazing things. Let me show you because there was a lot of stuff in it. Card that's gonna go on my spooky skeleton board in my office. Two crochet kits. And so I might get into this today because I need to start another project, right? Like everyone needs to do that. We have some coffee. Even though I just said I'm super dehydrated, this this is very tempting. Big squishy yarn. Not one, but two things of tea. We have vanilla and pomegranate blueberry tea. I feel like these would be good together. Double walled travel mug. 
perfect brew, but like perfect cup. Definitely gonna use this one today. Huge shout out, thank you, Nicole, again. This is totally my favorite tea mug now. I think it was the best idea to combine these two. It's like a dessert tea. So freaking good. I'm like, we gotta give it up for this mug again. I love how freaking thick it is too. I'm very particular with my tea and my coffee mugs, but more so tea lately I've been finding. I like to have a big cup of tea, but I'm not enjoying them when they get like super cold. I either have to have these types of mugs that just stay hot literally all day long, or I've been using my tiny little teacups, my Nightmare Before Christmas set, and just making tiny cups of tea as I go along for the day. thinner eyebrows is better for today since we're doing, I'm not gonna say it's a Tiff inspired look. I'm gonna say it's a combination of Tiff and Chucky. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I had something on my lips other than black liquid matte. Okay, um, which one did I say again? It's time to play, no, I like to be hugged, free hugs. So I like to be hugged is this color right there. Super vampy purple. Although now I might want that one. It's hard to say because honestly, I love all of them and I don't think that there is a wrong answer. I could just like start anywhere and we'd be good. Let's do Play Pals. Yeah, we're gonna do that one first. I'm almost sad to like ruin the Chucky stamp though. Okay, I love that. Yes, I absolutely love that. It's like a dried blood color in the best way possible. Most of my palettes don't have a mirror on the inside of them. So I definitely appreciate it. Okay, what are we thinking? Kind of even. It's a Chucky themed style. So evenness, not really going for that. It's time to get into the free hugs. This is one of those trust the process moments. In the middle of both of those colors, I'm gonna do a Let's Be Friends. Again with the stamp, I gotta wreck that one too. It's really not though. The stamp is in there pretty deep, so I'm gonna be able to enjoy the aesthetic of it for quite a while. I feel like I should do glitter today. I'm loving, what is this one called? Showtime, he's back. I like this one a lot. It's black with a little red glitter in it. I'm gonna do wanna play in the middle first. Felt tip for the top. See how pigmented it is? Ooh, extremely. I like how thin the tip of this is too.
there's nothing wrong with the lipstick or the lip liner. It went on really, really nice, but the color's just not for me. I thought I'd try something new. It never hurts. However, this palette, I'm still very sold. Next is my Twisted Allure subscription. Soaps, lotions, bath bombs. It's a subscription, so I have no idea what's in here. Another first for me, too. Since it's Halloween, I'm thinking we're gonna see a lot of spooky, ghouly colors right on the top. I don't know what this is. It just says Rotten Heart. Bath Dust. Black Raspberry Vanilla. Oh, I bet that smells amazing. Do I dare open that to try it on my rug? A little Halloween card that says everything that's in here. I think I need to just like very carefully open it up a tiny bit. Black Raspberry is one of my favorite scent combos. Oh, we're good. Oh, I love that. I'm not a huge bath taker, but I might have to start one tonight just to test this out. And obviously I love the color as I almost spill it everywhere. Limey green stuff poured into a hot warm bath. Yes, this is a keeper. They are like full size things too. Twisted Allure Live Die Haunt creepy bath product. If you are into bath bombs, they have some really freaking cool ones. What is this? Live Die Haunt Raspberry Champagne Sprinkles Zombie Heart Body Wash. Oh, heck yes. The packaging is spot on too. Like this, I don't know about you, but this brings me so much spooky joy. I love all the zombie hearts, the little rib cage hearts too. A lotion that is slime green body lotion lollipop candy I could have guessed that everything was gonna be candy scented type of stuff since it's still Halloween stuff okay what is it that it smells like it's like really really sweet sugary kind of like a pixie stick that's what it is but it's not so strong that I wouldn't want to put it on the other two I can't really like test this moment always searching for new lotion especially with crocheting. And this time of year, my hands are just so dry all the time. It's not overly sweet either. It dissipates pretty quickly. It feels really nice though. I don't even know, what are the ingredients in here? Oh, it says it in there, but it's like really tiny. I will just go to their site and check it out. But I'm really glad that I like it because this slime green, I'm gonna set this right up in the yarn dungeon, especially the tips of my finger. I've been working with wool yarn lately and that just like sucks the moisture out. What is this delightful jar? This looks like candy. Dead Lovers Whipped Soap, Citrus, Cherries, and Berry. Again, for this labeling, I love it. The slime green and pink, it looks like those things like the swirled marshmallows on a stick. I think they're on a stick. Or maybe they're just little tiny swirled marshmallows, just like twisted. Citrus, cherries, and berry. The citron is very forward, and I like that a lot. Oh, it's vegan too. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Vegan products. I've never ever used a whip soap before. With all of this stuff, this and the Rotten Heart bath dust. Looks like one more thing. Sugar scrub, okay, deceased sugar scrub. Loving the acid pink color. Sandalwood and fruity florals. Okay, this might be my favorite scent. I love sandalwood. There's a little zombie hand on the top. The scrub works best when you scoop some out before you go into the shower or the bath. Wet the skin, gently rub circular motion, then rinse the skin. It'll feel so soft, can be used daily or a few times a week. What even is this? Is this like part of the sugar? Oh my gosh, it is. The scent for sure is my favorite. The sandalwood, I love this. Definitely will be ordering more of this stuff then. That's why I get these subscription boxes in general. It's just to like try all the things out first because when you go to their site, it's a little bit overwhelming because everything is like, I want all of it. Spooky body stuff, absolutely. Put it all in the cart. But like when it comes to scents, I never know which one I'm gonna love. And especially since I'm kind of particular with the intensity of scents. These are all seriously fun scents. And I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of these combinations, but it doesn't come at you and like punch you in the face. It's just very mild. You get the little bit of the scent and then it kind of goes away, which is what I like. 
five different full size. I'm calling them full size because what is it? Nine ounces. I don't even know how much the other is, but like these are big. This is not a trial size. These are like what I would buy if I like that scent. So far the lotion and the sugar scrub are my favorite out of this box. Even though I haven't used this yet, I loved the zombie hand surprise. Like that got me. And this almost looks like it's gonna glow in the dark. Probably not, but it feels like it should. This one is from Not Your Average Babe. The tumblers and the iced coffee cups is what drew me to the site. And then I saw they had subscription boxes and I'm like, I'm in. Let's try it. Let's see what it's about. And again, this is the Halloween one. Love the packaging. Okay, adorable. This card is so cute. I don't think I'm gonna give this to anyone. Like this is a card for me. I only have eyes for you. Okay, just kidding. I do know someone that this would be hilarious to give to. Is there anything on the inside or is it just a plain card? I would like it to be plain. And it is. Perfect. Beetlejuice inspired anything. We have some dice because who doesn't need these? Honestly, my cats are gonna love this. Anything that I stick on the window, whether I want it to be mine or not, becomes theirs. Oh, a pillowcase. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's a zipper one too. Nice. I was thinking about redecorating my movie room too. Maybe this is the push that I need to do that. I haven't done that one in a long time. Honestly, I don't even know the decor that I have anymore. I have a box labeled downstairs, but I don't know what's inside that box. Smelly stuff of some sort. Of course we needed a My Bloody Valentine theme something. And this looks like it's a, yeah, body spray. Cotton candy body spray. Ooh, I'm scared. Cotton candy is a huge hit or miss with me. Okay, I don't hate this one. It's not a sickeningly sweet cotton candy. So we can spray it. I just had to try first because I was like, I don't want my whole room to smell like cotton candy. Okay, yeah, very light. Body spray. Oh, I already have stuff on, but oh well. Lollipop cotton candy combo now. Just gonna smell like sugar again all day. Last, we have a tank top. Oh, this thing feels so freaking cozy. My Bloody Valentine, be mine. I'm gonna say this would be a perfect workout tank top because it's like really, really light. And also a cozy pajama tank top. Ooh, I might do that. The picture is actually a part of the t-shirt. So it's gonna last. It's not gonna have the like peely, flaky stuff come off of it after I wash it. Greatly appreciated. Oh, there's one more thing. It looks like a sticker. Be My Bloody Valentine sticker. Probably right on my makeup cart. Yeah, let's do that. Pleasantly surprised with all three of these companies. This is why I enjoy doing subscription or mystery boxes, especially with smaller companies. It gives you like a nice sample of their entire store. Kind of like pushes me to try different things. Like from Twisted Allure, I never would have tried the, what is it called again? Bath dust. I never ever would have purchased this, but who knows? This might be my new favorite thing now. We also have a brand new book for our Haunted Audible book club to chat about. She chatted a little bit about it in my last live, but I just wanted to bring it up again because I feel like I didn't chat enough about it and I'm really, really freaking excited about this one. The winner for March is Near the Bone by Christina Henry. It looks like we're in for a nice winter isolation type of horror book. This one was actually nominated Goodreads Choice Award for Best Horror of 2021. A woman trapped on a mountain attempts to survive more than one kind of monster in a dread-inducing horror novel from the national best-selling author Christina Henry. The genres for this, the very first one, is horror, thriller, fiction, fantasy, adult, mystery. I knew it was going to be thriller-ish, especially because the cover is just so like, here's a mountain, Here's a tiny little cabin and snow, lots and lots of snow. So for the time of year, I feel like this could have great potential. There are a couple others that I've already started reading, one of which I finished today. Like that's how much I loved it. And this one is called Not Good for Maidens. This is a story all about witches and goblins. I wouldn't say it's a ton of horror, more like adventure, thriller. Kind of obsessed with the book at this moment because like I said, I just finished it. We have a main character of Lou 
who doesn't know about like this entire world of goblins, witches, has lived her entire life just like chilling out with her auntie and her mom. All of a sudden, one of her aunts, Neela, goes missing and she gets this voicemail saying, this is Neela, I messed up, I'm at the market. And like, that's it, that's how the book starts. I was really excited all throughout this book. The pace was really nice and if you love fantasy reads, highly suggest reading this one. I wouldn't say that I read it at the right time of the year because it was more of a end of summer all type of vibes because that's when the market was happening but I feel like you can read it anytime. I also have a list of horror movies that'll be released in March that I'm highly anticipating. And the first one, I don't even feel like I have to talk about it. Scream, it's coming out March 10th. Anybody know about that? And there have been so many trailers. I'm just ready for the movie to come out. This is a franchise that they can make as many of these movies and I'll keep watching them. So I'm just gonna go into the movie being like, it's a Scream movie. I know that they're gonna be in New York this time. That's about it. I didn't really need any more background than that. The second one is already streaming. Yeah, March 3rd it came out on Hulu and it's called Triangle of Sadness. This is more of a dark comedy than a horror, but I saw one trailer and it hooked me. It did a really good job of making me excited about it without them spoon feeding me the entire plot. I still don't really know much about the movie, so I'm intrigued. Probably sometime this week, I'm gonna pop that one on. Dark comedy follows a celebrity couple who vacation abroad a luxury cruise. Underneath it, it does say, the less said about this plot, the better. So another one that you kinda gotta go into it blindly. Maybe, again, like I said, watch the trailer. It does a good job of not really spoiling anything. So yeah, those are my top two most anticipated horror movie releases of this month. I'm sure there will be many, many more. We're getting very close to halfway to Halloween. It's literally next month. So we're gonna start seeing many more horror movies released. All right, ghouls, so that is it for me today. Thank you for hanging out, helping me get ready for the day. I'm now gonna head down to the yarn dungeon and crochet something. I have like five or six projects that I could choose from, so. I don't really know any further than that. I'm just gonna get started on something. Let me know what you think about the brand new Chucky palette. Personally, I'm obsessed and you'll be seeing me using it many, many more times. Also, I hope that you join this month's Haunted Audible Book Club, Near the Bone. I have it in a bookshelf on my Goodreads page. You can check it out down below. Come join the Ghoul Squad to see all the other books that I have chosen for this month as well. But for now, that is it. I hope you have a fantastically spooky rest of your day. Cheers, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.